Hello ladies and gentlemen of the StarCraft Nation, this is Zoya of the StarCraft Squad and today I'll be bringing you a tutorial on how to beat the mission Harbinger of Death with a gold medal. Now the first thing you want to take notice of this mission is that you can't, you have to use keybinds, you can't click any of your abilities. So I'm just going to give you a brief walkthrough of all the keybinds you have to use. For your stalkers, B for blink, you're going to want to use that one a lot. For your carriers, they have very few interceptors in them right now, so you're going to want to build more. You press I to build more interceptors. For your Phoenix, your Graviton Beam, which is going to be G, you need that to pick up the ground units. For your High Templar, you got Psionic Storm, which is T, you got Feedback, which is F, and you got Archon Warp, which is C. And then for your sentries, I didn't use Guardian Shield or Force Field, but you can use those. You got F for Force Field, G for Guardian Shield. And then for Hallucination, I use a little bit just for fun. You want to press C for Hallucination, and all of the different ones are different keybind. I was using Colossus, which is also C. So the second thing you want to do is you want to keybind all of your units. Now, you'll see me doing it at the beginning of the start. So you want to du click all your sentries, you want to press Control 2. That will bind them all to 2. You want to press all your carriers, press Shift 1, and then you want to press all your Phoenix and press Shift 1. The difference is, when you press Shift, it'll add units to a previously set group instead of erasing what you had before. So now all your carriers and Phoenix are going to be set into the same group. I'm going to bring them all up here, clear out this area, and I'm going to bring them all over here and clear out this area. And then for this one, you're going to want to press Shift 3 for the Templar and Shift 3 for the uh, uh, sentries. Now, to attack, you're going to want to press A and then click the destination on your map. You can't just right-click there and stuff. That's not going to do it. You need to play like a pro in this one and, you know, use your keybinds. So here we're going to want to start. I'm going to try and watch all three sections as much as possible. Uh, I beat this with, like, f I think 50 seconds left on the timer, so even if your micro slips some, you'll still be able to get the gold. So let's go. Now, as you can see down here, I'm keybinding all my units. There's the two. There's the guys in the group one and group three. Be pressing ready, and here we go. First thing I do, build all these interceptors. Send these guys up here. Graviton beam that. Blink up here, set to attack right here. Come down here, you use your psionic storm on all these things. You press attack and get your sentries to attack. Probably could have built a hallucination here to absorb some of the damage. Not that big of a deal. Come back down here, you're blinking. Come back up here, graviton beam. You still got the interceptors building. Some of them will die, you need to rebuild more. Come back down here. Gonna psionic storm up here. Get these units to kill. Come back up. I'm, I'm not doing anything there yet. Okay, here we go. Gonna come up here, blink. It's hard to get all your units up here a couple times, so it's gonna take a couple blinks. Come over here, graviton beam. Uh, you wanna build more interceptors whenever you get some killed. Come down here, warped all these into uh, archons. Come back up here. You don't wanna send your phoenix in too early without your carriers, or they're all gonna get killed by the ground, because there's all ground units over here. Keep blinking your units down here, kill all the marines and stuff. Come back over here, you send your archons and your sentries over here, kill all these units, come back up here. Uh, this is where the main fight is going to be now, you're going to have the, do your graviton beam on all the ground units. Carriers, starting to lose some interceptors, need to build some more. Come up back up here, keep attacking, blinking, you're going to come over here, blink up there. This is where uh, I, you know, mess around with the Colossus just to get the things closer to the edge for the sentries to kill. You also have uh, Warp Prisons over here if you need the drops, but it's really not that necessary. See, 30 seconds left, I'm already at 170 kills, so it's fine. Gonna wanna blink those up there. The main fight's gonna be down here, this is where all the units are now. Got all the carriers, could've built 8 more interceptors, not necessary though. Already won. So here you go guys, this is a pretty simple tutorial. See, 200 kills right now, still got lots of units to kill. Still killing these things. Could've come over here, killed those. Could've came over there, killed those. Still 210, 211. Pretty simple achievement to get. You just have to get good at the micromanaging. You need to use your keybinds. You need to be able to just press one twice, go to your carriers. Press two twice, you go to your stalkers. Press three twice, you go to your templars and your sentries. And you're just blinking all over the map, and you get easily get the achievement. It's one of the simplest ones to get. Now, as always, I'm Zoya of the Starcraft Squ Squad. Supply, uh, yeah. Subscribe to our channel. Watch more of our videos and. Soon we'll be sending out requests to viewers who want to send in their videos, and Unknown and I will be casting those games. Uh, we will be casting pro-level game, but we also want to cast your games, so if you're looking for help in your matchups, send in a video, and we will uh, 
watch it and uh, if it's a good it's one we can think people will learn enough from we will uh, cast it so until next time I'll see you guys later